Hello, this is a finance, personal finance tracker app using React.js. So we will implement it, something like this. Okay, let's add our um, finances to track them. The fees would, for example, fees, I paid fees. So let's add, that has added. So let's add, for example, rent. Something this that has added. So let's press this edit button. We will edit it here. Okay, the regards came here. Let's change it to the automation and make it 1500 15000 see the record has updated and let's press the delete button that has updated deleted okay and also this is this has also deleted so we will create this app using the act so let's get started so for this uh, personal finance tracker app uh, i have installed my react js app okay and i am using for the designing tailwind CSS. If you don't know how to integrate Tailwind, you have the link in the description for that video. And you may be using Bootstrap or CSS or Material UI for designing. That depends on you, okay? The design is not a matter, but we will implement the React.js logic here. How to implement that, okay? So let's get started. So first, uh, I will just write the design for to add um, uh, expenses, okay? For the expenses, first I will cr create a forum for that. So I wrote this design, okay, Tailwind CSS design just to add um, a new element, okay, a new record to our finance tracker app, okay. So let's run our server, how it looks like, npm run new. So it will run our React server. Yeah, let's move to this URL. Yeah, let's come here to the Chrome. yeah it is running let's yeah it is the design that we have created okay personal track finance tracker and add your transaction and here whenever we press this we should add a transaction so now let's implement it okay whenever we press this add button we enter these values here and we press this button we should add uh, a record and that should be displayed here on the table close this So first of all, whenever we write something in this input field or in this input field, we should store that in a variable in a state. So for that, let's write const uh, description, set text description is equal to use state hook. And same to this, we will use uh, for amount and set amount. So now let's update these values. When we are, we are writing here something, so we should call on change event and we will call um, create an arrow function and we will call set to description this method and we will write e dot target dot value. The value of this input field will be stored and the set description method in that variable. And also, when we are writing in the amount, so we will just call here set amount. Okay, so it will store the values in the amount variable. After storing this, so whenever we press this button, so we should uh, call a function here, okay, in the forum on submit. We will use on submit event, I handle our add transaction. Add transaction. We will call this function, so let's create this one. Const add transaction is equal to arrow function, it will get an event. First, we will a dot prevent default the default submission. We will call this method, and after that, uh, we will update our um, this. Uh, we will update our values. So for that, we will create one another array to store our transactions there. Okay, const transactions set transactions. We will store all our transactions here. Use use state hook and. Um, to this we will assign right now nothing so now let's add a new the transaction that we have to this okay so let's we will write something like this okay set transaction and to this we will assign an array the previous transactions that we have and also add a new object to this mm, the id would be we will add an id to this uh, the id would be like date dot now okay it will um, assign the current date and time to the id uh, because it will it should be unique 
and let's add the description after the description we should add the amount amount so this will directly write like description it will assign this description to the description it will assign amount like this okay it will write like this amount okay you will simply write like that so after that uh, we will display these transactions okay so let's it is in array type with us and description is description with us sorry and this is null with us so first of all we should uh, display these transactions so let's create a table for that uh, on the top of this let's create that here so let's write an h2 tag so here we will write our transactions and after that we will have a table uh, and inside the table we should have first the t head tag t head okay inside the t head uh, we have the um, we should show the uh, id the amount and the action so let's t head first of all we will display just the description display description and then we will display the amount after that we will display the action we should have the action okay which action we would like to perform this this action is for edit and delete functionality and now let's create t body inside it we will use transactions dot map transactions dot map dot map function we will use uh, and inside the map function we will get the transaction create an arrow function yeah inside this now we will print our data um, so the key of this uh, is equal to with the t dot id and here we will print our data td uh, inside this we will print our description t dot description and here we will print our amount e dot amount and after that we will create two buttons for edit and delete so let's create two buttons now this would be edit the second one would be delete so I will just add uh, some uh, children's CSS design for these okay I will stop the video so I have added the children CSS design to all these elements okay and tags first of all for this h2 tag then then the table then for the table row I added this table row also and table head and also for these rows so let's check it now uh, I displayed inside that so let's just uh, just cut this code okay and paste it uh, above from this div element okay yeah here so let's save it yeah it looks like this so now let's add uh, an element print 20,000 let's add it see that has added to our element so now whenever we press uh, and also we should uh, clear these input fields let's come here so for that I will just try it here after adding the transition so I will sit sit uh, description to null and sit amount control sit okay and sit amount that should be zero let's check it now so let's let's add it uh, that hasn't replaced so let's change the value of these input fields let's come here yeah of this should be value is equal to with the uh, description and the value of this input field will be is equal to amount let's check it now yeah that has cleared okay if we add uh, another one admission let's add it see that has cleared so now whenever we press this edit button we should edit the record okay we should display those value here and then we should 
edit them so let's come here whenever we press this edit button yeah on click we will call handle edit so let's create this handle edit function let's come here we will create that const handle edit uh, is equal to we will get a transaction inside this so let's pass the transaction uh, yeah just come here we will add our transaction here we will create an arrow function and we will pass our transaction here inside this let's come here and just we will create one another state here const edit id set um, edit id is equal to use state by default that is null with us okay so now we will update that id okay for addition and we will set uh, edit id uh, we will assign t dot id okay the, the transaction we passed we set that id inside this uh, edit id okay and let's uh, set a description t dot description the description we passed we will assign that video to the description to display that and that forum okay set amount and we will assign t dot amount so now let's check it whenever we press uh, um, the edit button what what is the result so let's a record here fees 2000 let's add a record okay we have added the record so let's press this edit button see we got those values here okay so whenever we add transaction we should update these values so let's do it so for that uh, uh, whenever we press again the um, a add button so for that we are calling this add transaction so we will handle that here if the edit id was if there was the edit id available so then we will perform the addition otherwise else we will perform the addition this functionality okay so for the addition we will write our code here we will uh, create a new uh, transaction new transaction is equal to and we will filter our transactions that map and here we will filter if the um, t dot id was equal to equal to with the edit id okay we will go through all transactions okay if the uh, id of the transaction was equal to with this edit id so then we will update our um, transaction otherwise we will return the transaction so here we will write the updation code so our id is equal to with the edit id and the description the description that we have and also the amount we will assign that so now let's check it um, and come here down so now we will update our uh, uh, all our transactions set transactions transactions and we will assign new transaction to that and after that set edit edit id to null let's check it now if here we should write else yeah let's check it now so let's yeah we press the edit let's make it range and make it 10,000 let's add see that has updated updated okay our record has updated so now let's whenever we press this delete button we should delete that record so let's come here to the delete functionality let's unclick handle delete and we will pass t dot id our id to this function let's create that function here cons handle delete is equal to we will get the id let's create a row function and here we will call sit transaction transactions 
dot uh, filter we will use filter function for that and here we will pass t the transaction and t dot id okay it will filter all the records without not equal to equal to with the, the id that we have passed okay the id that matched with the record don't filter that uh, otherwise filter all the records and set that in this transaction so uh, let's save it and check it check that let's come here yeah after um, updation we should remove these values so to remove those values we should set it here down okay outside of else box yes it is okay now let's refresh our code yeah so let's first of all add rent 10,000 and let's add it and the record has not added let's check it if edit id so let's check it where is the error let's come here Yeah, whenever we are calling passing the data we should uh, use our row function okay so let's check it now let's refresh our data and try to sign fees thousand see the record has added let's add another one rent let's add it see let's edit the first one and we will write our mission So let's add see the record has updated so if you would like to delete it see that record has deleted let's press again see that record has deleted so it was all about personal finance um, tracker so i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel like this video and comment down thanks for watching